a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your little Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country Trinidad and Tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth Trinidad and Tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea speaking to you all in the Western world in the Caribbean brothers and sisters to my 80s brothers and sisters in Dallas Texas reaching out unto them with my Christian right and our fellowship and the rest of my 80s brothers and sisters all over the world it through the in through the international community I say welcome brothers and sisters I was watching a video recently a little while ago with my dear sister 80 sister Tracy Harris and my next 80 brother John cannot remember his last name on the 80s experience show in Dallas Texas and the guy who was caller the caller was saying that he believed in God and about the mind of God yes God show up and reveal himself on Mount Sinai to the children of Israel he show up in the book of Genesis when he created Adam and Eve 2000 years ago Jesus Christ was divine incarnate Christ upon earth he show up and he died on the cross of mankind Tracy Harris and John Jesus Christ is coming again and this time he's not only coming to show up for the ten lost tribes of Israel neither for the house neither for the house of Judah the Jews in Jerusalem and the Jews all over the world in the international Jew, Jewish diaspora this time when Jesus Christ come he's coming up to show up for the whole world whole world for the whole of mankind who he make the human family to prove that wholesomely and nicely let us go to the book of Revelation behold he come with eyes behold he come with clouds and every eye shall see him the whole of mankind and they that face him that mean kill him shall wail and moan because of him amen so this time when he come the whole of mankind will see him so he is showing up for the whole of mankind to judge mankind and to save mankind this time when Jesus Christ come back to this earth this will be the biggest showing up for the Holy One of Israel because all eyes will see him you see when he came in the time of um, in the time of Peter James and John the whole world did not see him that's why he sent out his disciples all over the world to carry the gospel when he appeared to Abraham Isaac and Jacob the whole world didn't see him at that time uh, but this time when he come the whole of humanity will see him and that's why the 14th chapter of Zachariah wholesome nicely once again put it that all the nations of the earth will have to go up there and worship him as king of kings and lord of lords upon Mount, in Mount Zion in Jerusalem to keep the feast of tabernacles one of the Jewish feasts that the Jews of the feast that the Jews and them keep in the seventh month the feast of tabernacles in the book of Zechariah but I know that you all are ignorant in these texts because you all reject the Bible so this will be the biggest showing up for God upon earth because all mankind will have to come to him brothers and sisters brothers and sisters Tracy Harris I want you all to know and all those on the 80s experience and all and sundry that everything that God created come from his mind yes the laws of physics biology all the laws in the universe is God who created and he make it it come from his mind is supreme intelligently super intelligency yes all the workings of the universe all the designs of the animals the insects of the moon and the Sun and the planet come from his mind because the Bible teaches us through his divine wisdom knowledge and understanding he established the heavens and the earth and everything within it he make it and create it and he design it and fashion it so all the intelligent design in the universe come from God it come from his mind yes I know that you all will not accept that but all mankind will have to accept that in due course of time in the future when Jesus Christ come to this earth and reveal himself to mankind so right now the ignorance will be taking place some people believe in God some people don't believe in God the atheists believe that God will exist that will take place now but when Jesus Christ comes he will put a stop to that and all mankind will look to him as this is divine intelligent God that created the universe all mankind will come to that knowledge in due course of time in the fruit year yes brothers and sisters this is the teaching of the scriptures Eric Roxanne I'm making up no Nancy story here everything what I seen is in the scriptures my dear brothers and sisters so 
Tracy Harris, my dear sister, and John on the AT show, and Matt Donald Dal Dalty, and all the rest. The scientists of the scientific community will say that God doesn't exist. But we, the Christian, is not going by these experts in their field as scientists. They're not running the show for the church of God. And they are not running the show for the saints of God. Jesus Christ teaches us to carry this gospel to the nation of the earth, to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, which is the divine government that he comes to establish upon the earth. So we don't have to look for the, to these wise men of academia, these men of these doctorates and these PhDs and bachelor degrees and MA in their field of learning. I'm glad they have all these degrees and I'm glad they are children of academia. I welcome the learning, but we don't have to look to them. They are not running the church of God. Christ is the head of the church and he commissioned us to preach a gospel and we will preach a gospel and tell others about the works of God whether they, these learned men in this in these learned institution of the world like it or not. And I want you to know that Tracy Harris. So, so whether the biologists reject what the Bible say, whether they reject what the Bible say, we preach in the Bible to one and all, even to them, whether they accept it or reject it, we preach in the word to them. Yes, they're not instructing us. They are not running our, our lives. They are not governing our lives. We are not looking to them for direction. We are looking to Jesus Christ and his words for direction. Because God is the director of our lives. Right, not to them. So I want you all, I want you to get that crystal clear in your mind, Tracy Harris, my dear sister. And you say, Tracy Harris, you have made the biggest ridiculous statement, you and John on the show, saying there's no evidence for God. You said that everything that you see, the trees, the planet, the birds, with all the intelligent design, all the beauty in nature, the wonderful birds, the wonderful parrots, the wonderful mountains, the wonderful clouds, you are saying that is not the evidence that God exists. Well, that's the evidence that God exists because he makes it. I do not want what other evidence that you want to prove that God exists. But I know the, evi the other, you don't want to accept that as, as evidence. Or what you want, Tracy Harris, Tracy Harris, and all of you all. Matt Dollar, doesn't he want that too? He wants God the Father to come out to leave heaven right now and appear to him personally. Ah, and, and Matt Dollar, doesn't he? He wants Jesus Christ and God the Father to come out of heaven and appear to him, to both of them personally. Then they will accept God. Well, they will not get that from me. God will not appear to Matt Donald Dalty and you, Tracy Harris, in that way. So if you're looking for that, waste of time. It will not happen. He gave us his words to believe in him by faith. And God say that he created the universe. And we have to accept what he say. Whether you reject what he say and say that God is lying, he making these false claims. Well, the claims that God is saying that he may, he created the universe and he established the heavens and earth by his wisdom and his knowledge and understanding is true because it's a being talking and that being is God. And you, you said in the show, you don't believe God is eternal. Well, God said that he is eternal. He said that he's the everlasting one. He said he's the God of eternity. So God is saying before there was any angels or physical universe, he exists. Ah, we have to accept that by faith. No, those, no, God is not lying. Because in the book of Hebrews it said, by two immutable things impossible God for God to lie. So God is making a claim that he is eternal and everlasting. And he exists before anything that he creates. Ah, now if all you reject that, which all you reject, well, in the day of judgment, when you all stand before him, you all will have face him and answer that question. But the point is, I accept what he said. He's eternal, he is everlasting. And since he's the creator, he exists before his creation. It is he who gave birth to his creation. Create the moon, create the stars, create the fishes, create the birds, create the angels before the physical universe, create Adam and Eve, and it said so in Genesis. God created the animals, create the grass, he created the herbs, he created the plants, he doing the creation, he doing the making, he doing the designing, he doing the fashioning. He is the creator. He bring it into existence by his divine power. Uh, and it is a being that doing that, a spirit being, an invisible being, God himself. This, this what we have to accept. 
and the predicament that you all have put all yourself in that you all are seeing in spite of this wonderful creation that God has brought into existence you all are seeing that is not convincing you all that God exists Hmm. So all the fishes in the sea were the wonderful designs and shapes that are not convincing you all that God exists. With all the planets of the and stars that are not convincing you all that God exists. Oh, boy, hmm. that is plenty for me to know that God exists. Huh. That is more than enough. I have extra day to believe that God exists. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. But you all are saying, putting all of that together, the whole universe, uh, with all this creation, that is not convincing you all that God exists. What else do you all want? Ah, you all think all over get it. That Jesus Christ will appear before your bedside to you see Harris and say, I am Jesus Christ. Then you will say, I believe. Uh, he appeared to you in that way at all. You will have to follow in line this as anybody else. You see, like the unbeliever, then accept God. And they he hear the gospel preach, and now we become a Christian. And get baptized you will have to follow the same way too when you hear the gospel preach you accept the gospel you don't pay theism and accept the dust gospel join the church down the road go to yourself and talk to the pastor join the service get baptism believe in the bible and become a christian as anybody else you will have to join the line as anybody that we but you want to you want to have it and next way you want god himself personally to appear before you well unfortunately that will not happen to you tracy harris neither to you martin adulty and neither to you john on the show yes i am Braxton, a little to christian brother is telling you a lot that's why the saints of god have the authority to preach the gospel that's why we are preaching the gospel to others so when that because faith come by here and hear the word of god so when we preach the word the daughters now and people who believe in, they will believe the word of god now when they believe the word of god will apply faith in the word of god accept the word of god they will give the heart to jesus christ they will get baptized and now they will live a new life believe in god in his words and preaching the gospel to other people who was once this unbelievers like them uh, that's why we are here to preach the gospel but all you don't want that all you want god to post all you want to reject the gospel that is false teaching that bunch of nice story and the only how all you believe yes the big man himself god the father had to come down and appear to all you personally he and jesus christ well that is not happening until Jesus Christ himself returned to the earth. That is not happening to you, Tracy Harris, and that is not happening to none of you all in the ATA show. God is not appearing to you all personally in that way. Mark my word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you all doesn't want to follow in line as anybody else and accept the gospel and accept the Bible as the word of God, oh, that's the way. Because that's the way Jesus Christ teaches it. Because Jesus Christ himself as God on the earth. When he was preaching the gospel, it had people accept him as God and accept the word and become disciples. Well, it's the same thing. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. But you all doesn't want to follow that way. Uh, you all doesn't want to accept the gospel when it preached that you all and the you all and accept the words of God and become Christian and believe the, uh, the words of God. Like how everybody is accepting it. You all want God himself to appear before you all and then you always say we believe in god ah well that is not happening to you all unfortunately on all that all your part that will not happen but i'm not condemning my none of you all by saying these things i'm just stating a fact how the matter is how the matter is how the matter is it is because i see this is the road that you all tend to go down this is the road that you all tend to go down <clears throat> on that eight year show that is the road you all tend to go down so once again before in conclusion before i come to this end of this video i love all of you all on the eight year show matt donald delty tracy harris seth andrews iran ra all of you all are my brothers and sisters and that's why i'm purposely recording this video to teach you all these things whether you all accept what i say in I, I would love for you all to accept what I say, but you all, a lot of you all, are showing rebelliousness and already make up all your uh, make up in all your mind not to, re to reject what I say. And saying Eric Braxton is not our official teacher, we did not appoint him for him to teach us. 
teach us. And saying Eric Braxton is not, a, is not a white man like all here, we don't have to listen to Eric Braxton. Maybe if Eric Braxton was a Caucasian or a white man, born in Trinidad from my white parents, but I come from Germany or England or America or Brit British heritage, but he's white. We will show a little interest and listen to him. But since he's not a white boy, you, we don't have to listen to Eric Braxton. Or oh, he's a color boy. He's a he's a black fella. So we don't have to listen to him. If you all are thinking that way, you all are thinking silly in all your mind. Once again, to all of you all, if you all are thinking that way. <clears throat> and unfortunately, a lot of you all are thinking that way. That silliness in all your mind. You all need to grow up. Grow up. Grow up. You all need to grow up. Yes, yes, and put that silliness away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ on us, right? Amen and amen. <clears throat> so, so, this is the purpose that I'm recording this video. So that one and all, all over the world, will see this video and accept the Bible and accept Jesus Christ. And they will not leave Christianity and the Bible to go and join any atheist experience show. How to become atheists. Because a lot of them are rejecting Christianity, rejecting the Bible, and going to become full fledged atheists and joining the experience show. And when they become atheists and join up with Matt Donald Dalty and Don Barker, now they're lamp blasting the Bible and criticizing the Bible and, and approaching God and saying he's an evil God and all sorts of things. They are criticizing God and mocking God and showing hatred to the Creator God. Yes. Yes, I wouldn't want to join up Matt Donald Dalty and, and, Mark, and, and um, Eric Murphy and all of them on the ATA show to do, to criticize God because they see Donald, Matt Donald Dalty is criticizing God and saying he's an evil God and Dan Barker is saying he's a monster and all these things and they want to join them. Yeah, they want to join the clique. Yeah, so they could, to, 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 they could open their mouth against God and talk all that negativity against the Creator God. But all, all the Christians out there, I'm warning you all there, yeah, mark my word there, eh? all the better stick with the Bible, the holy words of God, and keep on believing that the words of God. And recognize that you're all in the right place. And do not go and join Matt Donald Dalty and Don Baca on the atheist show to become atheist. Because that atheist will not be able to save none of you all. Because atheism is negativity. It cannot save no one. Uh -huh. So it's time you all learn that lesson and learn it well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Well, there's much right to say again on this video, but I will end it on that note, my dear brothers and sisters. Once again, in conclusion, the whole universe and everything that God created, with all the intelligent design, including the angels, mankind, all the animals, all the planets, and all the laws, it came from a spirit being, God the Father and Jesus Christ. It came from the mind of God. Yes, it comes from the mind of God. Believe it or not, that's a fact of the matter. And this is a teaching of the Bible. Because God himself say that he created these things. Ah, and if God say he created this thing and God is a person, then it say it, God is telling you, I, I form these things in my mind, I think about it, and I, then I produce it, manifest it in existence. So therefore it comes from the mind of God. God himself says so. And I believe what God God say. And I rest my case. I, Eric Braxton, rest my case on that matter. It is record in the Bible for every boy and girl to read it and to hear what God himself say. That he created the universe. Uh, and it come from his mind. He created. Uh, but right in the Bible, the evidence is there. Mm -hmm. The evidence is right there for one and all, for all and sundry, to read it for themselves and to accept it and to believe it. I have done that. And I want you all to do the same like me, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. So on that note, well, in, in conclusion, I'll edit that, that note. And this video on that note. Shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.